Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel for another mod showcase review and tutorial. And today we are going to be looking at a mod that really expands the end dimension. Now, I personally feel like this is a dimension that really does need a fair bit of work on and I do love coming across mods that do expand on this dimension and I do feel like this one does it very well. It has biomes new structures, it even has some more mobs that add to the world as well, so you're not just really running across Endermen everywhere you go, but yes, we will get into that in a bit. If you are new to the channel though, guys, make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and then slap that like button. You know what to do. So, this mod is called the Outer End Mod. And it is, uh, yeah, again, a fairly small mod as of now. And already, as you see, we have a new biome. So, there are two biomes added. The Azure Forest, a blue and life-filled oasis filled with giant flowers and spectral flies, which are one of the new mobs added. There is also the Crystal Crag, a barren stone landscape made of arches and crystals which grow slowly over time, which I personally love as a feature. So it's an evolving, growing landscape. It, it changes, so you might think you've been to somewhere, but can you really tell? Because it does change. So let's go take a look at the Azure Forest for starters. And yeah, <laughs> we can already see the other landscape over there. So we of course have the chorus trees but let's take a look at this forest and some of the beautiful stuff it has to offer yet again this is a fairly small mod as of now and i do look forward to them bringing in more expansion to it there are of course other end mods out there which i will say do add more they do add more to this mod then let's change the card than this one currently does but i've got a lot of faith in this mod reading up about it that is going to bring a lot more stuff to the end dimension and as I said currently the mobs they've got in are really cool and they are really awesome as well so this is the Azure Forest soak it in guys soak in the beautiful blue trees of life yes it is a great looking area and I can't wait to explore this in survival I personally think it's gonna be great fun now over here we have the crystal crag biome the new the secondary new biome so these crystals here are the ones they were talking about that will be expanding over time which i love i think it just looks awesome it's just something to explore and i'm very excited to be going around this dimension oh a little bit of lag maybe i'm flying too fast but yes very excited to be exploring this uh with all the new structures in it as well and speaking of structures, there are new structures. The first structure we are going to look at that is added into this mod are the catacombs. Now, the catacombs are structures consisting of an opening staircase, such as this, which pretty much leads into a massive underground maze. There is some amazing loot to be found here, so conquering these are very beneficial. So let's take a look, let's see what we have up for store in this little catacomb it would be great if they added some maybe traps trap doors things like that to really spice it up for our adventure after a bit of hunting we eventually found the end of the catacombs and it had some iron goodies in there for us to take as well but nothing too amazing i will say so when it was saying that there's some really great stuff in here I mean, it's okay stuff. It's stuff that you're not going to be able to obviously find in the end. So if you are playing purely to stay in survival in the end, then these are very, very useful to conquer. So I thought while we were at one of the end cities, we might as well look at some of the mobs found in this new mod. And one of those is the Chorus Squid. Now, these guys, they're found blending in with the chorus plants. They will propel themselves through the air to attack you. They have very, very dangerous attack um, barbed teeth here. 
down where their tentacles should be. They are scary, they are fast, and we will take a look at their attack in a minute. Um, the other mob, I was going to show you, where has he sort of run off to? He's, he was around here chilling, grilling a second ago. Oh, well, we'll just get him, unless he's blended right in. I just can't see him. That'd be really... Oh, have I made my... Have I circled back home? No, no, that must be something else. Okay, uh, let's get out the spectral fly. So these guys are found in the azure forest, as I mentioned earlier. These are... Spec uh, they are ambient creatures native to the Azure Forage. They change their color depending on their surroundings, which I think is pretty cool. It's like a chameleon sort of effect. There you go. You saw, saw that change. So there you go. You get the color here. And then wait for it. Wait for it. Boom. That is awesome. I really do like that indeed. Uh, the next mob we have is going to be the Purple Golem. Then we'll take a look at these guys as well while we're here. So the purple golem is what I thought we would see, made out of obviously the purple bricks. They are found tend to be defending the end cities and the end towers. Uh, they are just awesome cyclops-like looking creatures. Uh, as I said, they spawn the end cities and will hurt you if you get too close. They are strong, so be careful when approaching them. It just makes tackling the end cities that bit more challenging which yet again i really like um if you watched my never survival you know how much i just alone struggled with the shulkers uh let alone with these guys guarding it as well now it makes it's going to make it very very interesting indeed next up we have the hopefully i pronounce this correctly the himilatitis spawn in the end towers labyrinths and will swarm you and bite you so these are actually found in one of the new structures the end towers sadly i haven't been able to find one of them as of yet i'm going to keep searching though but in the end towers they have a labyrinth beneath them and you will find swarms of these guys around and as i said they will swarm and attack you you don't find one by itself if there if you do see one there will be a pack following closely behind one on one they don't do too much damage but in a pack they definitely do. Now we have the Entombed. The Entombed are guards of the catacombs. You will find these guys loitering around some of the catacombs. We didn't really come across any earlier, which is a bit of a shame. Um, but you will find these mainly in the storage rooms or the chest rooms. Uh, and they will, yet again, like everything else, attack you. And the Shulkers are really going in on these guys. Um, but the Entombed, I think, are another awesome looking aspect to, the, to this mod. And then we have the Stalkers. These guys are a neutral creature, creature native to the Crystal Crag. Breedable with Chorus Fruit, which is just awesome. And there you go, you can see the Chorus Squid's attack now they are not a fan of the stalkers for whatever random reason these guys remind me of that sort of new creature that was rumored to be added to the overworld aquatic scene um so it looks like a redone version of that which i think is really awesome to be honest with you but i want to know what your guys's opinion is on that but there you go guys that pretty much sums up what this mod has to offer it doesn't have its own separate tab it's all blended into the main interface but just another aspect for you and guys let me know in the comment section down below are you going to go download this mod do you think this is a cool mod to have that will expand your end or are there just better end mods out there for you personally i want to know your opinions down in the comment section below but anyway guys thank you so much for watching today's video until next time see ya